Okay. Hi, T.H. Culhane for Envisage Mercy again. Hi, Rojaki Bosu from Envisage Mercy again. We have been heating up the power pot, which is a Peltier device, with the excess heat produced by the blessed plastic to oil converter. And only about uh, five minutes passed since we were videotaping last. We had a nice bright light going. We had put the top of the power pot onto the heating water and the electricity disappeared. And that is probably because the pot is hot, but the water is also hot. Now, it's not so hot that it burns my finger, but it's hot. And that is what Peltiers don't like. Peltiers like to have a cold junction and a hot junction. And the bottom of the pot is, of course, the hot junction. What the top is, is supposed to be cold, and it's somehow equalized. And so we see no electricity being generated. So what we're going to do now is take it over to the sink and we're going to put cold water in. So if I put cold water, boom, boom. You can see that just by putting cold water in and creating that delta T between the bottom of the pot, which is very hot, and the top, you start generating the electricity. And that has enormous implications. Obviously, we have to keep it on a heat source so that it stays hot. But it has implications for how you can get the maximum power out. Uh, one of them is don't put the top on because then the heat has nowhere to go. So when you're boiling with this, take the top off and then you will let evaporation keep it cool. Another thing is that obviously this is made, there's a very hot source uh, here because this whole part is hot. And when this pot is too close to that, there's also less of an ability for the heat to get off of the rest of the pot. So you want to try to keep that uh, away from another heat source. And this would work best in a cold camping environment where you have a really hot flame underneath the pot, but the air is cold around the pot itself to carry off that heat and create that delta T. So this time we're going to leave the top off and we'll see how long it takes before the electric current stops being produced. But, uh, that's uh, an interesting observation. One would think the hotter you got it to get it boiling, the more power you'd get. But this is about having a way to carry the excess heat off. And you can see it's beginning to dim even right now, even though it's sitting on there as the temperature here begins to equalize. It's getting dimmer and dimmer and dimmer and of course now it's almost out so what we do is once again come over here toss out the warm water put in cold water and you see how bright it gets so I suppose that what one will really do is put in a full pot of water that you've got a nice long charging time because there's a lot of cold water in here. And then when we put this on, we should gradually begin to see this turn on again as the difference, because now it's cold water in there. Let's just see how long that takes. Here it comes. It's coming on again. And this should stay on now for a good long time because it's a pretty large volume of water. So I suppose if you really want it to be bright, try to heat up ice cubes. <laughs> that would uh, that give you will a lot do, of power. That will do the best job. Yep. There okay. it is. Shut it. Pretty neat. Thanks.